welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i created this photo manipulation right here with pixel app so with that being said let me jump right into it click on the link in the description and download the pop file and follow me as i create this photo manipulation so the f let me just log this layer real quick so the first um thing you want to import should be your um background once you've um, imported this background this first one increase the size this comes out from page then go to 3d rotator move the x axis all the way to 18 to 18 yes 18 once i've set that at 18 i'll go to erase i'll click on the second slider here and I'll increase this one too yeah um okay let me just increase this one at the down so i can move this very well i'll click on here i want to erase i want to erase the top then i'll start erasing erasing so you can see that the downside is blurry a little bit so i'll just i think okay this is okay let me see i think, I think this is okay yeah. so once this is there what I'll do now is to enable as okay, enable this layer. This um um background will be in the PRP file, so just open it, increase the size also, and place it to the back. So originally it will be like this. I will, once you've um once you've imported it, come to erase, go to the erase section here, and then increase this part also, increase this, increase this a little bit, then let's erase the down area. Just the down area. Yes, you can see now that place is blurry. So I like to match with the with this your back background. So yes, okay, the top is showing. The top is showing. Okay, we just can just adjust this a little bit. Either move the down one. Where's the down? I'll just move this down a little bit to the top. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll lock that. Once I lock it, I'll duplicate this first um this back layer here. This one. I'll duplicate this one. And then I'll push it to the top and let me just place it here so you can see just do exactly what i did just place it somewhere here so i'll lock it so once i lock, lock that layer the next thing i want to do is to import my um product the product so i'll just import this real quick so, so push this background this new background to the back push it to the back push it to the back so i'll import the product real quick so in order to let me just show you guys how it's done the product is in the front so you can see where i cropped it to i cropped it to just somewhere here like where the f u l l is the full so yes i cropped it there and the size is um so this is the size okay i think i'll leave the size for here yeah, the size will be fixed so just crop it to to this area so let me do the second one where is it the size remember the size is fixed so don't worry all you need to do is just crop it i'll place it to the front i would press crop section so it's also you know crop to this just like this full area here so once it's there just place it the way you are seeing on the screen it's not really centralized but it's just you know both are kind of in the middle so you can see, let me just allow this one in the front let it just be aligned a little bit to this edge just something like this touching the line this line that is showing on this um straight one here so once you've done that let me lock both layers once you've done that position these two um product to the back first position to the back position to the back now let's go down now move this to the front move this to the front of the background and move this to the front of the background so once you move that to the front let's make sure this one is in the front this one is in the front so once you move that you get you get this kind of um stuff here this is how you get it once you have moved everything the same way i did so after doing that let's see the next thing which you have here let's see the next thing which you have here so we have to import this our cloud so i'm just going to do for that for my element i think i'll leave the size like this for you guys too so you can see where the cloud is just hold on so you can see this is the cloud i'll leave the size like this for you so once you've once you have reported this cloud go to color filter re um, reduce the u to minus 90 and the uh, increase the saturation to 16. so click on um the check mark icon like i said i'll leave the size like this for you guys so you just place it here you can reposition it if you want you place it here copy it and place it here it's not must not be aligned with this at least you just just place it somewhere there once you've done that, once you've done that, move. Just hold on real quick. Move this. Just place it to the back first. Once you've placed it to the back, then move it. Move it to the top. Until you're seeing. Yes, let it be at the back of this background here. So let me see if I can see it. Okay, yes, it's showing. It's showing. Where's the second one? Move it to the top. Yeah, yeah. It's showing. That is okay. So once you once um you have done that, the next thing is to import this 
blow effect. So uh, by now you should know how you can do this. But let me just recap on how you can do this. Go to edit or pick a shape. Then go to gradient. Select your gradient format. So this first part will be transparent, and this second slider will be white. So in order to do that, is this slider I are going to choose this gradient format. Choose the gradient format. In order to make this transparent, click on this section. Click on the icon here and move. Just move the dot slider all the way to the transparent side to the end. It's going to be transparent. Then move it all the way to the middle. Then just pick white for the second part. That's um, click on OK. Once you've done that, shift this to the exact, just like that exact line there. Duplicate it. Then let me just push it to somewhere like this. I think it's one is okay. Yes, I think one is okay. Let me place it to the back first. Then move it to the front of this two products. To the front of the two products. Okay, no, to the front of the clouds as well. Yes, to the front of the clouds. Okay, yes, actually, you are going to duplicate it. It's two I use. I just saw one here. So you are going to duplicate it. So once you've duplicated that, you know, just place it at the same place. Go to place it to the back. Then move this one to the front of the. Okay, let me just keep it here. So once you've done that, you can now okay, push this down. Push it down so you can see it. Push this down. Yeah, I think it's okay like this now. But you can see we adjust it if you want. We adjust the second one at the back. So once you've done that, let's see what we have next from our design here. So we've done the most important thing which we are supposed to do. So let me just import this next um, stuff real quick. So this one is already um, bl um, blurry. So what you're just going to do is to okay. Let me bring it to front. So this is it. You just go to crop. This is how you get it. You can see there are different ones here. So this one I picked. I use this and I use this. This one I down there. So this one I picked. So just like this, just place it somewhere here. Where's the second one? The second one was okay. The second one was here. So you can see this is it here. So increase your size and place it somewhere here. So I'll just use that to cover that. I'll lock lock both layers. So by now you should know how to do this as well. The same way we did the the white um blur effect. Do this, just pick it back on. Then place it here, somewhere here. You just place that it down. Okay, I think this is okay. Yeah, this is okay. Okay, you can push it up a little bit, it depends on you lock it. Once you've done that, what's next? Let's see the Right, okay, now you are going to import all this um, stuff yourself. So position it to the place that you know you are okay with all these beds. Don't worry, it's been the bill I just reduce your size and position it to where you want to see your own to be. So now for the helicopters that you saw there, the helicopters are just one and um, they are all in one one, so you just like this. So these are the only ones I use, just this and this. Just this one and this one. These are the only ones. So um, okay, that is there. Position that there. Let's see, see where the next one is. Like I said, I just used to helicopter, right? Let's look for the other one. The other one is there. It's not most, it must be in the same place. So here's one thing that we should have added. So pick, select the shape, select the shape, and then go to gradient. Then select this gradient format here. The same way I told you guys how to do the blur effect. Let's just make one place transparent. This, this side to be transparent. This side should be white. Click on OK so you have this effect. So place it at the cover. Just at the cover area there. Yes, that is okay. Duplicate it. Increase the size. Increase the size. Place it here. Copy it and place it here. Okay, I think it's okay. Now move this to the back of this product that is at the front. Just move it to the back of the product that is at the front. Now I'll move it to the product that is at the front. Yes, just like this. So you can see. Just like this. So now I'm just going to position this a little bit. Position this a little bit. Now push it down. Yes, you can see. And move the other one, the other one, push it inside to the left. So it's not be too blurry. Okay, this is okay. I think this is not all, but at least you can do the rest yourself. You should already know from my tutorial now that I don't, you know, add do unnecessary things anymore. So you can do the rest yourself. Let's just see what we have here. So there are some things that are actually not really important. So don't just bother yourself. Just do um, work on the most important thing here. So you can see this bed at the down here. This dove, so of course you should be able to put the dove yourself. It's at the back of the feather that is in the front. So, and this, okay, this one is not really important. You, you are not going to see this airplane here. This airplane here. Okay, let me just move this to the front. And I hope that's all. Yes, I think that's all. So this is it. The manipulation is actually easy. Um, full credit to Pinterest. 
in case you are still wondering how I actually get my inspiration, you can check my Pinterest tutorial on how to get inspiration from Pinterest. It will really help you out. So the um, if you are wondering that the design are not the same, I actually edited this one. They are same. So in case you are wondering how you can edit, check my Lightroom playlist. The link will be in the description. And in case you are wondering how I added lens flare as well, check my lens flare tutorial. It will teach you how you can add lens flare to your own design project. So the design is that you know are very easy, and this is how I did it. So if you found value from this, subscribe to my channel for more, and help me get the 10,000 views on YouTube this month. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching.